What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a new JRPG sessions for you, but before we get started, I just want to say if you guys are enjoying the videos, please give them a like. That way I know that I can continue down this path. You guys are enjoying the content. If you enjoy the content overall, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate your support. It'll help me grow and I can do more and more of these things for you guys. I would really, really love that. And on that note, if you guys have any ideas for any topics for JRPG sessions, let me know in the comments. I am always open to ideas and suggestions from you guys. Please let me know. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on with today's topic. So, what I want to know is this. Would you guys rather have a split story, a split narrative, something like the Trials of series, or do you want your RPG story to all be there in one game, all at once, no breaks, no splits. I came up with a pros and cons list for both of these, and then afterwards I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started with single narrative games. I'm gonna do the pros first, then I'm gonna do the cons, and then I'm gonna do that for split narrative, and then I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel. So. First and foremost, the pros for single narrative games. And the first one should be extremely obvious. You get the entire story all at once for the price of entry. No ifs, ands, or buts. No cliffhangers, unless you're Crimson Gem Saga, then that whole franchise ended on the cliffhanger. Another pro to single narrative games, it's a lot cheaper to jump in and play. Now, whether that be because you got the game on sale or you just don't have to buy the game multiple times, you always feel like, for the most part, you're getting your money's worth as soon as you plop your money down. You don't have to wait for another version of the game to come out to see what's going on next. Now, a couple of cons for single narrative games. So one of the big ones for me personally is that you can end up with a rush narrative or rush story. So for whatever reason, whether it be development cost, development time, the story was just poorly executed, whatever the case may be, you'll, you, you can run into situations where characters are underdeveloped, plot lines are dropped, the story has plot holes, all kinds of weird stuff because you only get one shot to tell the story you can't kick the can down the road so to speak you got to get it all in at one shot regardless of how it's going to turn out and another con which kind of ties into the pro but can be a con depending on how you feel about the game they are one and done so it could be a situation where let's say i don't know legend of dragoon you happen to fall in love with the world story the characters and you want more but there isn't more you've been waiting for 20 plus years and there's not more you don't don't get me started on that I'm sorry that's a whole different thing but all you have is that single entry maybe you'll get some fan fiction maybe there's a side story or something that comes out that tells you what happens afterward or gives you some background into what happened before but you get what you get with the one game and that's it all right now let's do the pros and cons of the split narrative so like we did with single narratives we're gonna start with the pros your boy likes to be positive so with split narrative games you have traditionally deeper stories and obviously the reason for that is you're able to devote more time to the story because you don't have to tell the whole story all at once so we'll take trials of trials of the sky cold steel all those we'll take that for that franchise for example because honestly that's a franchise that spawned this topic the f the first games in those franchises are usually devoted to world building you build the world up, you build the characters up, you highlight their relationships and how they all tie together. And then once you get all that squared away, 
you hit him in the face with the story, with the good stuff. And that's how all these games typically work. You get more opportunity to tell a bigger, better story because you have more chances to develop your characters and develop the world and develop the story because you don't have to do it all in one shot. Another con for these types of games is that there's always room for improvement. And what I mean by that is you make the first game, you implement some systems, some stuff that developers really like, and when you release the next part of your game, they get the opportunity to build on those systems. Whether that be improving the battle system, adding some more wrinkles to it, updating the graphics, updating the sound, whatever the case may be, there's always an opportunity to make that franchise bigger and better from a non-story perspective. And the last pro for these games, that I could think of anyway, was that your progress is carried over, saved and carried over. So what I mean by that is usually in these games, once you finish one part, you get to load your save data into the next part of the game, the part two or the part three, and you usually get to keep levels, items, equipment, stuff like that. And it makes you, it makes it really feel that you've accomplished something and that you get to take that progress and accomplishment with you into the next game. Now that's not to say that in single narrative games, amassing all these items, money and things like that is a waste of time or not rewarding because it's not. You should do that in every single JRPG that you play. But the difference with the split narrative games is that you get to keep all those things across the games that you play. And it's a really good feeling to know that when you step into the next part, you don't have to worry about grinding money or grinding items or things like that you can already you already have that stuff ready to go and you can put your focus elsewhere so now the cons of split narrative games and much like the first pro for single narrative games the first con for split narrative games should be pretty obvious you don't get the story all in one shot the biggest problem with that is your franchise might end before you get to tell the rest of the story crimson gen saga shinmu looking at you guys another issue that we can run into is the amount of time between releases now this is something that obviously you have to accept when you deal with video games developers need time to make these games and even though a lot of times with these split narrative games and this is another con that i pretty sure i wrote down if not then i'll go into it now looking at the script i didn't write it going into it now a lot of times with these split narrative games, they reuse a lot of resources. So reusing towns, NPCs, a lot of reused assets. You think that will make development time quicker. And in some cases it does, but in other cases it does not. But a lot of people have to replay these games to get to refresh the story or watch the synopsis to refresh the story because the gaps in time between releases were so long. And now the final con I came up with, which is an opposite of the pro I talked about earlier with split narrative games. Sometimes with these games, they just don't make enough changes between releases. And what I mean by that is like no quality of life updates, no battle system improvements, no new musical scores, nothing like that. And that really makes it feel like you're playing the same exact game over again. And if this is just like, a 50 hour affair on top of another 50 or 60 hour affair burnout is real because it makes you feel like you're not playing a different game you're just playing the exact same thing now those are just the pros and cons for single and split narrative games that i was able to come up with and now, those are just the pros and cons that I was able to come up with. Obviously, that's not every single thing under the sun. I'm only one man. But I think that's a lot of good stuff to consider and think about. Now, as for myself, which style do I prefer? That's tough. And I actually thought about this for a few days before I sat down and filmed this. Let me just say that I have no issue with split narrative games. Some of my favorite games and franchises are in the split narrative variety. But I'm a man that likes it all up front, all at once. Give me my dope. 
deep single narrative JRPG. Like I said, I love split narrative games, but if I can sit down and get everything all at once and move on, that's what I want. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me. Those are my pros and cons of split narrative and single narrative games. I am a man that sits firmly in the single narrative column, but I wanna know how you feel about this topic. Do you like the split narrative games? Do you like the single narrative games? What are some pros and cons of each that you guys came up with that I didn't think about? Let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. And again, if you guys enjoy all this stuff, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.